Hello everyone, this is Asim from online-tech-tips.com. Uh, I'm going to give you another tip today. Uh, definitely check out the website for daily computer tips. Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to change the listening port for a remote desktop. By default, it is port number 3389, but it can be useful to change this port if you have multiple computers inside your network that you need to connect to. So, what we can do that is if you click on Start, you click on Run, and you're going to type in reg edit R E G E D I T and we're going to click OK. Now we're going to go up here and we're going to go to H key local machine. We're going to scroll down to system. We're going to go to current control set and then we're going to go to control and we're going to scroll down here till we hit terminal server and then we're going to go down till we see win stations and finally RDP dash TCP. So this is where we could change the port number for remote desktop. And if we scroll down here, you're going to see an option called port number. So double click on that. And by default it's in hexadecimal, so we need to click decimal. And there it is, 3389. So you could change the remote desktop port number by simply backspacing and let's say for example 3390. So now if I click OK and I save this, uh, in order to connect to this computer, I'm going to have to go to start all programs, accessories, communications, remote desktop from the other computer and I would type in the address for this computer let's say it's 10.0.1.118 and I would put a colon 3390 the different port number now if it's 3389 which is the default you actually could just leave this blank but if it's a non-default port number you're gonna have to do a colon 3390 or whatever the number is that you put there so that's it. That's how you could change the remote desktop port number uh, in Windows XP and also in Windows Vista. Again, this is Asim. Check out online-tech-tips.com for more tips. Thank you.